Hello, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, I've uh, been contacted by a company uh, who do uh, grow bags. Uh, it's in the title and in the description. Can't always pronounce these uh, names, but I've got uh, some uh, four rocket potatoes there that I need to get planted and uh, I'm going to try some uh, Jerusalem artichokes in them. Uh, you might have seen in a previous video uh, on the Jerusalem artichokes uh, how they uh, push those containers out. Uh, so uh, I've already opened one just so I could have a, a little look at it and uh, they come in packs of two. They come in packs of two. Uh, this one here, if you wait till the end uh, you'll find out how you could uh, also try one of these and I'll send it to uh, anyone that uh, takes part wherever you live whether you're uh, uh, it doesn't matter who you are whether you're a viewer subscriber everybody uh, will get a chance so here we have it uh, 38 litres 10 gallons We've got the drainage holes in the bottom. Um, not sure about the clear plastic on the outside at the moment. Uh, yes, we can see our crops, but will they uh, will they go yellow? Um, we're going to find out. Um, cracking little handles. We'll try those shortly once they're actually full. He's trying to tell me this uh, time for a brew again. Uh, cracking little handles and then we've got also got um, a little flap here uh, which uh, kicks back there so that we can uh, harvest some of the vegetables now that'll be ideal for the Jerusalem artichokes because we don't eat many and it'd be nice just to be able to harvest what we need and that's exactly the same with the potatoes as soon as the potatoes have formed to a reasonable size we could actually take those small ones and let the other ones grow on so uh, as soon as I've uh, finished my brew we'll, uh, we'll get one of these filled uh, as soon as we can uh, I haven't got any manure so I'm going to use um, chicken manure pellets I haven't actually bought them uh, they were ha uh, given to me uh, in exchange for something else this is why it's always good to uh, be good to our fellow uh, plot holders uh, and friends uh, I've got something that they want and then they uh, return the favour by giving me something that uh, I need uh, as you say it's been difficult getting manure uh, traveling lockdown and everything else so I'm just going to enjoy this fire for a little bit longer have a brew and we'll get on So I'm going to stick to my uh, normal basics. Uh, this material here is my homemade compost. Cost me nothing. The manure is still breaking down. So we'll put uh, a bit of that uh, in the bottom. The chicken manure pellets. This is where everything's going to grow and then some uh, bone meal. Uh, if you remember I had that roll of uh, matting, weed membrane and uh, give that to somebody and they come back with that. Uh, this is the uh, found compost that the cannabis growers uh, unscrupulously dump. It's got perlite in so we'll put a bit of that in. and uh, my two-year-old leaf mould. Give that a bit of a stir around. And I'm going for the Jerusalem artichokes in this one. And uh, I've decided on uh, just two. I don't want to uh, overdo it. And we'll see how uh, this does. That You can you grow anything in these, carrots, what, whatever you like. Uh, so we'll have some more homemade compost so none of this has cost me anything the sea potatoes uh, 
are all saved same as the jewelry some artichokes so whatever I get out of this there's some more of the manure will uh, will be a bonus I always fill my containers right to the top whether they're new potatoes or not I'm not going to compact this because we know what Jerusalem uh, artichokes are like You'll lose some artichokes are greedy and if they can find enough food within the bag hopefully they'll stay in the bag and not try and force their way out it'll be a good test for the bag yeah, never bought a scoop this is uh, an old scales in a shop hold that end and uh, just the job That's that, so here's the handles. They fit, it feels firm enough. Obviously not gonna open the uh, window up, but the Velcro is really good. Uh, so uh, this one now will be sitting out on the allotment in all weathers. Uh, we'll, uh, and we'll see how uh, how the Jerusalem artichokes do when it comes to start harvesting them and as they grow I can have a little lift the flap up and see how they're doing hopefully we'll see them uh, uh, through the clear plastic but will they go green it may be a plastic that doesn't let the light in I'm not sure but uh, we will find out right I'll do the uh, the rocket potatoes not going to bore you by showing you that exactly the same method so like I said before, I'm putting uh, four in here, so we put two that way, I'm going to put uh, two this way now, so far up. Chit up, as always, don't knock any chits off. And you're probably thinking, why is he planting first earlies here in the UK in January? But I go into the grow room until it, uh, till it warms up, guys. So don't to worry as you know I grow potatoes uh, all year round I'm pretty well self-sufficient with potatoes now I've got that nearly right so if you haven't cons uh, thought about subscribing then why not consider subscribing and see uh, and follow my journey again even though the potatoes are going right to the top. A little bit more. And as we said, all these materials are free. So there's no reason why you can't uh, yeah, the handles seem to be holding really well. A lot of good stitching on those. So, uh, happy days. So make sure that Jerusalem artichoke doesn't get uh, put anywhere. But no, happy with those. That will go into the barrow and uh, get back uh, to the grow room. The, uh, the last one, I should be uh, growing um, some uh, giant potatoes in. Condor managed to get myself a bag of those they're supposed to, they hold the world record for the heaviest potato and that'd be ideal to take out the smaller potatoes and hopefully the big one will grow so that's what we'll be doing um, as soon as they arrive or when it's time but they can go in the, the grow room and uh, if you want uh, to try one of these then uh, for the fairest way is to uh, drop me uh, uh, an email uh, it's in the description below right at the bottom and uh, hopefully uh, there will be links uh, for this so that you can actually look at the description and uh, if you're satisfied yourselves that uh, it looks a good product um, overall I looked at the reviews they seem okay but time will tell 
uh, at the end of uh, this growing season we'll see how they've fared and uh, we'll go into 2022 with them again and see how they do so yeah please just drop me um, a gmail at my uh, mail address and uh, I'll, again I'll give you a, a number and we'll do uh, the little flutter drop and the nearest to the centre uh, I'll send this uh, uh, off to you as soon as we can and uh, it'll be uh, one week uh, once this gets uh, uploaded as you know I tend to record my videos and then uh, schedule them for Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and Sundays uh, at the same and then any extra ones are just in between but always at 8 o'clock sounds like the kettle's boiling again So I've been uh, trying the, uh, my stove and I'm even, once you get some heat in there, putting the, even the big sticks in, uh, safe splitting them, uh, seems to be working well and it is drawing really well now and you uh, can always uh, close those up as well. And once I know it's uh, as I want it, I can uh, cement a few more in. Or do I need to cement any in? So, even if you've got um, a balcony, small growing spaces, you can always uh, manage to grow some sort of uh, vegetables either in containers. Uh, I recycle and reuse a lot of stuff. You don't need to uh, purchase anything, uh, but those bags do look like a good idea. Uh, time will tell. But uh, as you know, I uh, try and grow everything in what I can and uh, I even grow vertically square foot gardening and I've got all my raised beds which are almost uh, 12 months old come March or say January uh, at the moment so happy gardening to you all and don't forget check out the description go and check those bags out and anything else that's uh, below in the description that uh, I do and uh, check out the product reviews that will be in the end cards as well take care my friends till next time to for now